A little over a year ago, KTEC started seeing uh, trends in the LT4 and LT5 cylinder heads that followed the path of LS7s. Um, we saw a valve guide wear in a large portion of the number of heads that we saw, both in the Ray shop and in the online store that were mailed in. Um, the wear was anywhere from 5,000 and 5 tenths on a car that had as little as 2,000 miles, and some were farther out than that, um, as well as there are cars that had minimal wear. We had a car that had 140,000 miles that had no wear and was well within the service limits. Some of the signs um, can be minimal on engines. Uh, you know, you, sometimes an increased noise at idle and valve train noise. Potential for some oil smoke, although the valve seals are normally in good condition and still retain the oil above the valve guide. So there's few signs that you can kind of preemptively catch up on this and the best way to really know is to disassemble and measure them. Uh, we're still tracking the number of heads that are plagued with this issue um, and we're not sure how far reaching that is. Right now we're at about 40 to 50 percent of the heads we see will have wear outside of the service limits that GM recommends. The valve guide wear in it though itself is not catastrophic but if it's let gone too long and the wear is grows too significant uh, there is the potential for a catastrophic engine failure and costs that are significantly more than what it is to um, fix the components that are there now. When we first started noticing the issue um, of the valve guides, obviously what's, what's the solution? Uh, the first thing to quick and easy is, oh, is there a OEM replacement guide? And there isn't. And you wouldn't really want to put that in anyways, is you'd probably be replicating the same situation that you had happen in the first 2,000 or 5,000 miles or however quick it may have arose for you. That drove us to put together a multi-valve and guide combination that allowed us to test four different options on an eight-cylinder engine, um, both intake and exhaust. Once the multi-valve uh, and guide combination was put together and drawn out on paper, we assembled a set of cylinder heads. Uh, the engine then went to dyno. Uh, we were ran an extensive durability test, burning over 55 gallons an hour. Um, that concluded we had a detailed inspection at the beginning before the engine, the cylinder heads were put on the engine, and then we detailed inspected it at uh, incremental hour marks. Every 10 hours we disassemble, measure the wear, um, and track that throughout the process. Following the dyno, uh, we had um, transferred it to a Spintron to run additional hours um, and kind of continue the test um, on a non-firing engine to see how that affected it. We started out with the firing and combustion and then went to just spin trans. Um, the test continued and we continued to do the detailed inspection every 10 hours. Uh, and at the conclusion of the testing, we disassembled, final inspected, and took a, an inventory of all the wear that had occurred and which ones were the best and kind of allowed us to offer a solution that we had tested, was proven, it matched the data that we saw and utilized in our LS7 valve guide fix. Um, and well within the service limits after 20,000 plus miles of track day and uh, street driving. At this point, we're not sure how far reaching the issue is or if it's at the magnitude of the LS7 valve guide wear. Uh, KTEC is in front of it and the only company offering a solution at this point. Uh, this will allow our customers to avoid putting other engine components at risk in the event of a failed guide or valve. If you own one of these vehicles and are interested in getting your cylinder heads inspected, either through the online store or through our race shop, uh, feel free to reach out to us by phone or via our website at ktechengines.com.